Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's topic is how to create amazing images using text to image models. Now, for those of you who have followed LLMware, you know that's not really our expertise. And in fact, if you see a lot of our stuff, we don't have a lot of great images. But one of the truly amazing things about being part of an open source community is you get to work with brilliant people from all over the world who bring their ideas, their expertise to the table. And so today we're actually thrilled to have the opportunity to showcase one of the projects from a member of the LLMware community who's done some truly groundbreaking types of things to enable people to use both embeddings across millions and millions of text prompts combined with LLM prompting to automatically generate compelling prompts that can be used truly amazing imagery out of the box and to take to enable people to start to use these tools in extremely powerful ways. So we're thrilled to showcase this. He's going to walk through the code and what he's done. We would encourage you to check out his project, which is called Prompt Quill. Check out that project. For anybody who's out there, if you have an idea, there's something that you're working on, come check out LMware, check out our community, come talk to us on Discord. We would be happy to work with you, collaborate with you, help you solve problems along the way. And then, you know, we will do everything that we can to help to, you know, support your project, you know, as you're getting it off the ground. So with that, though, the topic for today is all about building amazing image prompts. So with that, I am going to turn it over to Werner. Thank you, everybody. and welcome to my very first video I ever do. My name is Werner, I live in Switzerland and I like to tell you something about what magic you can do with AI and how AI will help you to do so. So today I like to share with you some of what I do in my free time as well as how LLMware did help to improve the outcome of my hobby. Creating amazing images is a lot of fun, not just for looking at them, but also to share them with other people on platforms like Civit AI. The better the image, the more you get in contact with people around there. But to be honest, I'm no good in creating the right prompts and to get the really good results, as you can see here. As you see, creating a prompt for a nice image can be quite a challenge. But then I found LLMware. They provided the tools I need to do the next step in prompting. And guess what? AI is key. So what I need is help to create better prompts. This help is hard to come by as it's either friends you ask or you go search the web. Friends with this hobby are still rare today, so I have to search the web. So it's quite time consuming and most of the time does not lead to what I really like to produce. What could help then? I could build one. I did build one using the tools I found in LLMware. But before I could use those tools, I had to fetch many prompts. I found friendly help at Civit AI. They did let me download millions of prompts and allow me to use and publish them. So the next steps are to get it all together. Once I got all the prompts and after some really big cleanup job to remove duplicates and links to embeddings and LoRa's and such things, I stored them into a vector store using LLMware. Also, I use the tools from LLMware to create a rag pipeline, which then helps getting matching prompts from the vector store. Those prompts are used as context for a strong LLM to create a prompt that will create an amazing image. So now we will go and see how it works. But before we create our first prompt, we have a look into the backend a little. What we have here is like a synthetic history for the prompts you enter. And here we set your prompt engineer, so do some nice prompts. And also we give some examples how answer and query will work. And with this, you have total control about the prompting style. So if you put in whatever weak prompt you have and then you put in here a complex prompt in the style you want then it will tend to uh, create prompt in your style so that's a very good thing and it works very well and the other thing we have is you can change the model it's just two here but if you enter some more to the configurations and you can select other models and also you can set temperature contact lengths gpu layers and stuff like this so and now it's time to create a prompt and we try a very simple one which is a nice cat here we go it takes a while and here's our prompt and with this prompt we just take it and go to the image generator so here we see my image generator 
and first we produce the image for just a simple prompt which is a nice cat let's see what it will do it will take a while so please bear with me as we can see we really got a nice cat so now let's see what our prompt will do for us it's a nice cat in front of a very simple background so let's see what happens next again it will take a while and here's our nice cat again but now it got a more complex background there's even some plants in the background there's a little dirt on the window it's a very nice thing and it's not just a nice cat it's a just more complex prop we got in that repository you will also find a docker compose file that will help set you up a milvus vector store or a kudrun vector store we use the data i have provided on civet ai you need to set up a kudrun vector store and also you need to have a mongodb which is a requirement from lrmware today to do so i prepared docker compose file which is right here so all you have to do is docker compose up in that folder and you're ready to go with your vector store and your mongodb so once the initial setup is done you have got your vector store and also your mongodb the next steps are quite easy all you need to do is to create a library using the llmware mechanics and decide for what embedding model you are about to use in my case I'm using this embedding model and the vector database I'm using is Kudrant. So then here we just create the library. It's just this. The library name is set down here. In my case, it's LLMware Kudrant. And after this, we are ready to go to start parsing the files. You need to have some folder where you find your data or in my case it's this prompt data and i created a little loop so he will run to the folders step by step every folder contains 5000 prompts and he will do the parsing file which is adds the files to the mongodb and there is no embedding done yet the embedding we do at the end once we got all the data in the mongodb we will do the embedding from there the nice thing here is if you one day decide oh i like to use a different embedding model because this one is weak or it's bad or it's not good for your use case well this part you don't need to do again you just do this part again with a new embedding model and it will create the embeddings with the new model the whole parsing is done and it's there forever don't need to do this again you only do this again if you like to add more files and after this we are done with the embedding part that was quite easy was it so to be able to use this data we have just a very few steps first thing is we again tell what is the embedding model so that the embedding can be used against the vector store we tell what is the name of the library and we just load it so and from here we are ready to go we can access all the data in the vector store then here is tricks i do to be able to have a little history so that the prompt generator knows he's a prompt engineer and knows all the tricks about how to do this then we give a name for what large llm we'd like to use this is parts i do to find the model in in my configuration which is here i have a whole list you can choose models from so and once this is done all we have to do is we set the pipeline which happens here and first we check if it's a deep link model which is the case when we use one of those ggf models maybe from the bloke or some from some other place or if it's a simple model which is already in the catalog from llmware then we just need to set the model name therefore we have this if then else thing here then we add our magic prompt in the end we generate the prompter object which we will later use to generate prompts so here is what happens when you have put your prompt into the ui you press return or click the submit button then it will run in here and it will create the context 
and then with this context it will go and create the response from the LLM. With the UI you can change the model. So at runtime you just select a different model, you press submit, it will run into here and change the whole model setup. And also you can do change the magic prompt and when you press submit you run into here. So that's all there is with LLMware to get a rack running. It's not so much. In my case, and there's a lot of empty lines, it's 162 lines, and most of them are not LLMware related. They are doing other stuff. It's quite easy to get there. Thanks for watching, and please check out my GitHub site called PromptQuill.